because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Chad from Bearded Hops Podcast, back at you again for another Friday morning beer review. I got to first apologize because I realized when I got up this morning that last week I didn't have the robe on. And I know all of my seven or eight fans out there, I just went nuts about it. I got emails and they're like, where's your robe, dude? So it was actually was in the wash. So sorry about that. Robe's back. Uh, this week I've got one from New Glarus Brewing Company. This is the Coffee Stout. And it's a part of their seasonal release. And this is promised to be basically a cold coffee. So another one that Adam probably would not like. Um, but let's give us a try and see. And I can probably tell you for sure if he's going to like it or not. We have not done anything from New Glarus. They are a Wisconsin-only brewery. You can only get these beers in Wisconsin. That being said, they're very popular. And when people come to Wisconsin, they discover New Glarus beer. Typically, it's Spotted Cow. And they end up taking a bunch of them home or have their friends in Wisconsin ship, ship Spotted Cow to them. It's very popular. Um, it's a cream ale. Awesome beer. Um, I mean, there are there's, there's better beers out there. But as far as um, one that's really, really popular from New Glarus, Spotted Cow, you've probably heard of it. Um, so as I said, we're doing a coffee stout and yeah, it smells like coffee. Imagine that there isn't a whole lot of information on the website about this. It's pretty much what's on the bottle here. So I'm just going to read this real quick and then I'll pour it. Hearty and satisfying. Our coffee stout is the ultimate full body brew. Wisconsin water, roasted malts and American hops are the natural ingredients we use to brew this beer. They use natural ingredients in all of their beers. Uh, let's see. Then cold pressed organic coffee from just coffee co-op is uh, infused into the brew expect this beer to pour deep uh, in a deep creamy head over an ebony rich body uh everything else is just blah 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 enjoy it room temperature is how they suggest serving this uh this is probably a little bit cooler than room temperature it's been sitting out for a little while though but um I think, I think it'd be kind of nice. You're not gonna be able to see my pour today because I'm going to drink it out of a coffee mug. <laughs> Cause it's a coffee stout. Okay. Well, you know, there's no dramatics, obviously looking at coffee being poured into a coffee mug or a coffee stout being poured into, poured into a coffee mug. But I thought, why not try something new? We're just going to drink coffee out of, why do I keep saying drinking coffee? Because oh, I'm drinking coffee stout. I think that's what it's going to taste like. Yep, it's a coffee smelling head. Uh, you can't see it, but it's, yeah, it's a creamy head, tightly packed bubbles. Um, it looks like any other uh, coffee stout that we've poured in a glass before. You know what that looks like? Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> okay wow adam don't try this one um you won't like it the peruvian morning that we had from central waters a couple of weeks ago was less coffee than less coffee tasting than this this is all cold coffee with a little bit of a hoppy finish. Um, I, they don't say what malts they use, but it's it's super coffee malty, and whatever American hops they've they've chosen for this brew do show up in a finish. Uh, I have no idea what hops they might be, but it doesn't really matter because it just it tastes like cold coffee with some carbonation. And because of that, my initial rating is not going to be that high on this. I'm, 
I, I like coffee stouts if they have a, a pretty good balance of coffee to stout. Uh, this one is way, way on the coffee side. Um, now, unfortunately, where I bought this today, I had to buy six of them. I couldn't, I, I didn't, uh, the craft beer cellar where I usually buy beer was closed. Uh, when I was in the area, they didn't know until noon um, when I bought it. And I got six of them to drink now. And I, I'm going to give this a three. Um, I would probably have it again, maybe at the brewery. Um, and it's not, you know what? I'm going to change that. I'm, I'm not going to buy this again. I'm going to rate this a 2.5 initially, and it might get a little bit better as it warms up, but it's just, it is, it's so coffee, not, um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't taste like What's, it just doesn't taste like a coffee. It just doesn't taste like a beer. I mean, it's a coffee stout, but it just does. Yeah. Eh, I don't know what to say about this one. Okay. Well, New Glarus does have some really good beers other than this one. As I said, Spotted Cow is very good. They've got, um, they've got one called Totally Naked. That's a really good summer beer. Um, spotted cow, of course, is very good. They've got, they just started getting into sours as well. They've got a wild air, uh, sour kettle that is supposedly the best way to brew sours. And they just, uh, just released some of these, uh, actually I think they're releasing them next week. Uh, there's a sour porter. Um, there's a champ rouge, um, yeah vintage 2016 all these specialty sours that are coming out i'm really looking forward to those um i think i mean this one it just it uh <laughs> yeah just no, i'm just not very satisfied with it anyway um new glare started in 1993 it's dan and deb carey who started the brewery this is one of those breweries that's actually in New Glarus, Wisconsin, actually just outside of New Glarus, Wisconsin. And it's a brewery that we have been told about by many, many people that it, if you visit any brewery in Wisconsin, this is the one to go to. Now, we've been to some good ones. And uh, we talk about you know going to Lakefront, which has a fantastic to uh, tour. And Three Sheeps we talk about all the time. Um, great place. And... This one is, I mean, it's on the bucket list of Wisconsin breweries to get to. Um, I think we're Adam and I are going to try to make it this summer. We actually had plans to go there a few a few weeks ago, um, but something, oh, I moved, I think is what it was. I don't remember exactly what happened, but that got pushed, uh, pushed back. So we're going to try to visit this brewery this summer and go over and check out uh, what all the hubbub is about. Um, they've done a great job uh, marketing this beer in Wisconsin and growing it. It's a very, very large brewery. However, as I said, they only sell in Wisconsin. So come across the border, you can grab it in like Janesville and Kenosha, Racine, you know, right across the border. Uh, but it's all over the place up here in Wisconsin. So get, you know, try some of these other ones out. Um, I'm not really going to, I'm really, I'm not really going to recommend this one, to be honest with you. Um, but other ones from New Laris are very, very good. So. Until then, uh, oh, let me do a quick, let me do, a, uh, until then, let me do an, a real quick, you know, until then, let me do a quick. I don't know what I'm doing. It's early still. Give me a break. Um, untapped. Let's see. The national average on untapped, 19,000 check-ins, 14,000 unique. This Oh, this beer has been around since 2010. It's got an average rating of 377. So, I mean, if you're if you're looking for a stout that has nothing but a coffee flavor in it, maybe this is the one for you. Um, I like a little bit more balance out of my my coffee stouts to have it at least taste a little more more on the stout beer side. Uh, beer Advocate has an average rating of 3.89 out of 1,031 ratings added to. Wow, this is added to Beer Advocate 2002. So 
Uh, this may be one of their longest longest running brews. I don't know. It's a seasonal. They only they do it once a year. But uh, you know, the brew started in 1993, so they've been they've been doing this one a long time. It's a 5.75 percent ABV. Uh, I don't think any IBUs are given anywhere that I was able to find. So 5.75. I mean, it's not a bad way to start off your morning if you're looking for uh, you know a fairly decent alcohol um, content. Uh, and nothing but uh, coffee, cold coffee flavor. So uh, you guys have a great weekend. We'll uh, be back next week with Monday Bomb Beer Review. I think we missed it this week because of uh, Memorial Day. And then Adam and I will be back again on Wednesday, I guess it is, for another regular podcast. And I'll see you again next Friday. So until then, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Peace. Cheers. It's Friday, Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend.